another story here. I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to go out to the garage and do some uh, do some do some filing work. I've got a grinder and a buffer, and uh, I'm going to make this get this all sweet. Okay. So it's going to be all smooth and shiny and pretty. Okay. We want to make this real pretty. I'll bring it back. I'll show it to you. Okay, I'm back with uh, got this all polished up. See how pretty that is. Thing is, we're not we're going to cover it. <laughs> it's going to be covered up, covered up with um, some shrink tubing. Now, before you put the pull the mic capsule through, we want to make sure it's very very clean inside. Get some tissue and roll it and roll it and rub it in there. Get it polished as much as possible down inside, down inside where the mic capsule is gonna be pulled into. Okay, we wanna pull it in this side, are we? Yeah. And so I'll get the other end of the wire, this end, run it through. Whoops, run it through the way I want the capsule to go. And string it through here. Okay. This is gonna go in like this, just like that. And then we're going to pull that through and, uh, and make sure that that capsule seats right in, the, in there nicely. Okay, but before I do that, I'm going to, I'm going to tin this little piece of, of um, a pipe on the inside. And I'm going to solder that right there. See where that, see that wire pokes out? Just solder it right there. And then I'm going to pull it through. It'll going to crumple up a little bit. That's just fine. Okay. But I'm going to solder the ground to this case, and that's our ground connection. That's our case connection. Okay, where's my little clamp? There we go. So we're going to clamp that again. Don't need that guy anymore. Be careful not to clamp the microphone. Just clamp the piece you're going to solder. And here we go. For what I'd like to do, I'm, what, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this through first. I'm going to tin the pipe first. Hang on. Pull this out. Set that aside. Tin the pipe. That end, this end. Let's tin this end. Right there. So, I'm going to tin this end right here. See? Put the solder on the iron, rest it on the side, and hold it there. Wait till it starts to flow. Otherwise, you just have a little ball of solder that's stuck to the side, and you can flick it with your fingernail, and it'll pop right off because it's not stuck. You have to get this booger hot, and I might, I am. Oh, bloody hell. That's what you get when you use cheap uh, plastic little thingies. All right, so we're going to do it this way. Well, as Yoda said, teach them what you learned. <laughs> Failure most of all. <laughs> so when this fails, I want you to see the little things that you could fail. There we go, look at that. Now look, if you can see inside there, see there's a nice little puddle of solder in there. See that? That's lovely. That worked very nicely. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pull, put my, uh, my wire through that side the other side, I'm sorry, and pull my microphone through this side. Oh, that's hot. I wrote that roll down on this wire all the way down here. Oh, come on, baby. There you go. All right, now, now it's there. Okay, so pull this on, put the wire in there, put the ground wire, and pull it through. Ooh, ooh, hot, hot, hot. Twist it around to where that ground wire that's already tinned is touching the, 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 the solder that I already put on there. Now all we gotta do is heat it up and make it, make it flow. And that's what we'll do. Very slowly, patiently, patient, patient, patient. Connect that wire. Come on, baby. 
Come on, baby, you can do it. Come on. This is a mess. You know. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Yes, I think it's stuck. Oh, it's hot. Yes, that got hot. That's very good. So, so don't want to mess with it too much while it's still hot. You're going to melt the, melt the sheathing. Just wait. Where's my cup of tea? There we go. Hmm. Get this in the tea. Ah, oh, lovely. Doesn't hurt anything, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> now it's cool enough to handle, and that's soldered. It is stuck. So what we're going to do, carefully inspect our microphone capsule. It looks undamaged. Very nice. If it's damaged, try again. Use another one. So I'm going to get this to fit in here. There it is, squeezing in carefully, gently. Um, what I do is I put it on something flat like this and carefully press, press it squarely. If it's not gonna press squarely, that means we didn't do a very good honing job. So very carefully, get it square, get it straight. Starts going in crooked, don't let it. There it is. Now it's, it's squeezing in. See that? Nice. It's squeezing in. So you push it in. And what that, that copper is soft. The aluminum also is soft. And they will, they will touch each other and they will make a contact. And they will push it down until it rests at the end. See how that looks? There's your mic. It's lovely. Isn't that nice? Next thing we're going to do, it's all connected. Look. And that it's, it's actually pretty good like that. But we don't want it to come apart. And we don't want any problems, since we're tugging and jerking around and cutting on that back uh, circuit board on the microphone capsule, we might have uh, loosened the crimp a little bit on the back or something might open up. If it does, if it gets a little air leak in the back of the capsule, you will lose a lot of low frequency. And it's, that's how omnidirectionals work. They have a hole in the back, okay? You, you, I mean, that's, excuse me, that's how cardioid microphones and hypercardioids work with a chamber behind and a hole. Um, but we don't want that. We want it completely sealed, and that would be pure omnidirectional full frequency response, okay? So that's the next thing. I'm gonna heat up my hot glue gun and 